So today we are joined by Pedro, the creator of Snake RL, which is a really fun project. Um, but before we get into our project, I would like to introduce Pedro. Pedro, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, thank you very much, Jen. So it's first uh, a pleasure participating in, in this uh, recording here. And uh, well, my name is Pedro. I currently work at a company called RNIQ, which is a company that uh, does uh, some IoT and general cloud computing software for uh, oil and gas clients mostly. Before that, I also worked at, uh, at my own company. So I founded a company that worked more or less in the same space there. And I always like to get involved with AI projects and so on. So before even founding my company there, I also got a master's at UCLA focused on uh, AI. And since then, I always like playing and uh, trying out some, some projects like this one here that, that I'll present. Awesome. Yes, absolutely brilliant. Um, I love that I get to talk to so many folks that come from these amazing backgrounds, and then I just get to enjoy the fun projects that you make, um, one of them being uh, Snake RL. So you want to tell me just a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I think it's interesting to understand here, to contextualize the, the project a little bit. So at the time, I was uh, just looking into some uh, uh, reinforcement learning techniques, reading articles and checking what are the tools that are available for me to practice and really uh, understand the state of, of art of, of the things. And I found a couple of libraries that would offer some reinforcement learning capabilities, like OpenAI Gym and so on. And uh, then I thought, well, I need to find a, a project here that would fit the kind of for me to play here. And I saw some very amazing uh, projects that some people created. So reinforcement learning is normally used for uh, several things, even AlphaGo there uh, use those kinds of techniques there. So I'm like, oh, it is an interesting thing to, to, to learn. But I started something w with something small. So, okay, let me try to get uh, a project that has an agent. So normally you would have to have an agent that lives in this sort of environment and wants to complete a task. So what is one of the easiest kinds of uh, environments there that you can find or projects? It's kind of like a game, right? So I went to there and uh, said, oh, this is snake, like the little snake that you would play on your phone there. It is an interesting thing to try this out. So I went there and started uh, working with it to apply these techniques. It sounds like a really cool project. Uh, do you happen to have a demo of it? Oh yeah, definitely. Let me show it to you guys here. I have it available on my GitHub page. So anyone uh, can go there and, and use it and see it in action. So let me show here how it behaves live. So if we go here, the code uh, that I used to train is all here, so people can use it. And the actual uh, live demo is in this page. So you see here, I'll press reset, and the snake will start playing the game. So it's just chasing this fruit here around and trying to maximize the reward. So if we speak in terms of reinforcement learning uh, techniques there. So you see that it just lost in this case. Well, uh, you can actually train the, the agent to perfection in this is easy game here, but I left it like that. So it's just more interesting. You see how it makes the decisions and sometimes it makes the wrong decision. In this case here, it couldn't figure out how to reach the, the fruit. So if we press again, we'll always see a different kind of result. So that is amazing. So if, if people want to even train more, they can go there, adapt the code, or change the environment to make the snake uh, grow more. So that would also work. Yeah, I love that it's sort of a novel experience each time that the game works a little differently. It almost makes it seem more like it's more tangible that way. Oh yeah, definitely. I think that is an interesting part. We, you mentioned that it uses reinforcement learning. Can you talk a bit more about what reinforcement learning is? 
Oh yeah, definitely. So reinforcement learning is a very interesting technique there that is used in several places. In cars nowadays, and AlphaGo, people use it. So what it is, it is a technique to train your agent. So, well, what is an agent there? You frame your problem as an agent interacting with the environment. So imagine in my case, it's simply a snake trying to find uh, uh, the little fruits there, but it could be a car interacting with the environment. It could be a person trying to play a game and so on. And uh, the agent is trying to get the rewards or when it doesn't get the reward and performs a wrong action, it receives a negative feedback. So it's just like you would do with a person or uh, something, an animal and, and so on. It is kind of like a natural technique that it's what, for me, makes it so fascinating. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, and while you were training this model, were there some technologies that you want to talk about that you were using? Oh, yeah, definitely. So to train this model here, I used a, a very interesting tool that maybe people are aware of. It's called uh, Google Colab. So it makes it very easy for you to go there. You don't need to uh, use your laptop. You simply use a free server that Google offers. So all my code here on all, you will see a bunch of code here that I use to uh, explore. So here is just installing the libraries and so on. You can go there, check the the things that I did, and uh, change as as you like as well. It's all there for people to use it, and you can also run in Colab. So the code is in GitHub. You can simply go uh, open in Colab and and try it out. That's an amazing thing there for the community. So a bunch of things that you can use that come uh, built in. So definitely that was very useful. Yeah, I I love that about uh, Colab. It's uh, there are several um, Colab notebooks built into the TensorFlow documentation. And when I need to learn to do something new, it's nice that you can just start with those different snippets and run them. And like you said, you can make changes to those. That's real code that you can edit um, to make it do something different. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, if, if folks in the community want to get involved in maybe this project or future ones uh, that you might be working on, um, Tell us a bit about how they can do that. What are what are your future endeavors? Oh, well, if anyone find it interesting and want to get in touch, I always like uh, meeting other people there. So feel free to get in touch there with uh, whatever uh, mean that they they want. Maybe GitHub and social network or something something else there. And I do believe that there is a lot of room there for uh, work in the. Uh, AI running the browser and also on the edge. I come from an IoT background, and I think there is a lot of value uh, to work on, on those realms instead of thinking a server and waiting for the response. Sometimes you don't have a network and so on. So running on the edge is very interesting for me. Oh, yeah, I absolutely agree. I love um, the idea of on-device ML. Um, well, you know, Pedro, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for coming on and talking about um, talking about your project. Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation there. It was a pleasure.